breaking news just came out. Uh, I was going through my late last news uh, before I went to bed, and Eric Jones failed post-race inspection. I uh, just wanted to let you know that it is on Twitter being talked about right now. I'm sure people are mentioning it in other videos and stuff, but um, I did talk about JGR's 1, 2, 3, 4 in my race recap, but I just wanted to say that, yes, I have seen that Eric Jones failed post-race inspection. What this does for him, it puts him in a must-win situation going into the Roval. Uh, he was a few point. I think... I can't remember the exact points, but he was close to the cutoff. I think he was three or four points out, but he loses, oh, I want to say 35 points from failing post-race inspection. Um, he only gains one point on the day. It means you finish dead last no matter what. So he is at least 30 points out, so he's going into a must-win into the Charlotte Roval. Very bad for that 20 team. That's just a tough spot for them to be in. Um, they're actually my next championship case, too. That's going to be awkward, honestly. That's going to be really weird to talk about. But it, they're good. they absolutely have to win at the Roval. There's no other way they can get in. It's going, to be, it's going to be a long race for them if they can't get a win or a long rest of the season. But that's heartbreaking for that team. Obviously, last week with the mechanical issue, with so much promise coming in after the win at Darlington, um, and then obviously this happening, um, this and the mechanical failure. It's been a rough start to the playoffs for the 20 team, but... Once again, congrats to Martin Truex Jr., but big, bad day for Eric Jones after that. Um, but just wanted to keep you updated.